Uh, it's about eight months ago. Um, I was living with my mom at the time, and she had emphysema, and she was getting sick. And uh, she was she had died basically in, on the weekend. And she had signed me over her trailer that she wanted me to basically have some place to to stay where she when she passed away I it wouldn't be on the streets. And uh, when she passed away, the management of the trailer park came out to. Uh, you know, came out to basically evict me, and uh, they told me that if I wasn't able to leave, that they would take it to court, and they came back to me and told me that they had a $1,200, you know, payment fee that had to be paid off, and I told them I couldn't afford it, and they said, well, if you sign the trailer over to us, we'll, you know, we'll quash the whole payment thing. Well, I signed the trailer over to them, and they came and, you know, locked up the doors and stuff, and I basically took what I had on me, and uh, you know it was it was kind of hard at first because uh, you know there was a lot of um, tension between being homeless and just unsure of what was going to be like my fate, you know, what would be my future, because I was always sleeping on the benches and like trying to find a, a place that would be comfortable enough for me to sleep, and like. You know, anywhere I tried to find a job, they didn't want to hire me because I didn't have a, you know, a proper address. The address I did have was already vacant, and so it was hard for me to actually find a job. And it was more just like trying to focus on getting my life together and seeing how I'm going to get out of the situation. Uh, not too long ago, I was uh, homeless, and um, we would be heading to this towards the tunnel I was sleeping at when I was on the streets. Uh, I'm just recently starting to get my life back together and I'm looking for a job. I'm actually getting getting some applications put in. I'm wanting to get back into school. i um, also been aspiring to become a writer. Uh, this tunnel we'd be going into, uh, it kind of like sheltered me from, you know, being out from the cold and being able to like you know have a dry place to sleep especially when, a lot of times when it was raining uh, I would have to probably find somewhere else to go because a lot of the times this place would get flooded out so I'm not sure if they'll be like my stuff will still be down here. The reason why we're here is because this is the tunnel I used to sleep in um, this as you can tell it's pretty cluttered uh, it's usually like somewhere where people usually go and find shelter um, it's not, it's not much to look at. Uh, there's a lot of stuff around here that looks like it might have been inhabited not too long ago. Uh, I usually had a couple of my friends usually uh, come down here to sleep as well if they needed a place to stay. But, however, it was a place for me to sleep. And so this kind of brings back a lot of old memories for me as to just kind of, you know, understand where I came from. Um, so being homeless, I was also inclined to think, well, you know, where would I, where should I be able to, you know, place myself in my own life? And this isn't for anybody.